All right. Good evening, everybody. This is a select board water commissioner meeting for March 13th of 2023. Uh, tonight's agenda is uh, new business. We need to realign the board. We need to appoint a health officer for a three year term, appoint a representative to the Northwest CUD, uh, Poor Farm Road, sign fleet permits, sign warrants, review the Nemeric Assessor Agreement, approve meeting minutes, and then under old business, we got to talk about water line on Crow Hill and the Route 105 safety audit. And what do you guys want to be on? Ruth, um, as an EX, we're going to talk about, I want to talk about um, the Australian ballot in our town meeting. Okay. Seth, you got updates for us? Um, yeah. Well, um, everything's going smooth. You know, yeah, um, good. Everything's, everything's going smooth. Um, probably gonna be some snow coming tonight. Who knows how much now? They first they upgraded it, then they downgraded it, now it's back to four and a half inches. But mm. no big deal, we can handle it. Yeah. Um, uh, we're yeah. right on salt budget. I just had two loads delivered because we were getting down there and um, I asked how much we had left and it was only a matter of like three or four tons. Hmm. So we're under budget just by a little bit. Surprisingly, we kind of use that much, but there was a lot of days where the, the blacktop needed it. Yeah. And their roads then. <clears throat> I think as far as the ceiling pile, ceiling pile goes, it's right around the same. Um, what we trucked in like 1200 yards of sand and we're right back to where the, the face is, where the weeds are growing from last year or whatever. Hmm. So I think we're, it's right around the same. It will be anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> we went around with cold patch and patched some nasty holes on, on the pavement. He showed them had some good ones. Thank you. Um, it was kind of hard to do them because they're half full of ice up until you know, we finally got the stuff. So. Yeah. But that road's on the East Shelton road's going to be on the next grant. So hopefully next year there'll be the grant money for that section. Down That's through. from Stevens's. Yeah, off. from where we kind of left off down to, um, down by Ryan's there. Yeah. You left out in front of my house. Where it changes. And then um, there's some, there's a fair share of um, holes on their roads. But they're not, there's a lot of little ones, not terrible deep ones, and like the same s s scenario. It's, they're, they're always half full of ice, so yeah. hopefully, once it <clears throat> once the snow passes, maybe by like the end of the week or next week, we can get in and start putting some material on those. They never really froze up real hard, anyway, yeah. did they? And then you kept getting it's these almost snow. along the dry side in the, in the, in the areas where it's out in the open <clears throat> today, up until now, it's raining now, but hmm. um. So we have to break into our what's, pile of things, pretty big crust on it. It's the uh, backhoe now, that comes right now. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a big deal. Okay. Um, Nortrex found a problem. We might have been able to after we looked, spent enough time looking, but it was corroded wire on this little fuse panel that um, was like I corroded right off. So hmm. it was, yeah. only, you couldn't really see it. I mean, maybe over time you could have found it, but. Better off calling them to be safe and sorry. When the code read, if the code was um, something about the depth pump not working, and I don't know if that went back to it or what, but um, it, it started right up as soon as we uh, um, put an end on it. So he had like two hours of labor and probably no parts. That's not bad. And the trucks are going good? Yeah. They've all had their share of problems. We had a, <clears throat> Jim's truck at 18, it, uh, it was on a Saturday, it, it uh, started making transmission oil on one of the phone lines. So we went to Napa and just got a um, hydraulic hose with the same fittings on and, and within hours we had it going again. So um, that wasn't too bad. And the Western Star um, had the engine lights coming on and the truck kept stalling. Yeah, I thought it was the uh, def filter might have been plugged and uh, I called.
called somebody of it, or I, we started looking around. And I was like, well, this thing's no longer air freeze, just by a little bit underneath the low mark. We put like a gallon of air freeze in it and it went away and hasn't been back on since. So, hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, everything else is going good. Good. You heard any more when they're going to start the. Uh work down there on Hill Road? Um, they said not until after, they had a bunch of work to catch up on from last year up until June, so it's going to be like probably toward the end of June, 1st of July, I'd say. It'd be better if it dries yeah, out. Yeah, it'd be better if it dries out. What's the water down <clears throat> yeah. I just, I know you had mentioned they were going to get the culvert built this winter there, so I didn't know if they yeah, were going to start yeah. right I'm sure they're building it. Yeah. Is steel color or is that cement? Concrete. <laughs> so, okay. Is that anything else? Um, oh, I guess. Is Brady still working part time? Yeah, uh, yeah. He hasn't been out of season too much, but he's got a winter break. I guess that was the end of February. Um, he came in a few days. Mm -hmm. he, I mean, it's still run almost every day, and I still kind of need the help. So, mm -hmm. I, guess, I guess he's going to come in tomorrow. We'll see. He's still working on getting his permit. I think he, I thought it was the last week, but they, Said it was Tuesday, so I guess this is the day. Yeah. So we'll see what happens there. Where? Um, yeah, it's all Wait, there's a little water leak down on Bridge Street. We just had to tighten the fish one, one night after we put an hour over timing after I didn't know about it until after it was almost gone. There was three o'clock, so. It wasn't any big deal. Yeah. Did uh, who plowed? Do you know who plowed it? Um, like the other end of it? No. Like I usually, I plowed Blue Road for the most part. But not all the way. No. Through. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's, what, um, that's what Norm said. He was asking me the same question. I was like, I don't know. Didn't see him. Somebody with a pickup, probably. Yeah. Just dropped their plow. Yeah. I'm not sure if he caught or saw or heard who, who was on them, so just curious. No. All the culverts seem to be holding up in good shape. Take a ride down on Macy Road. It's a big difference this year. No go. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. <clears throat> um, at some point, too, we'll have to think about what we want to blacktop. So, like, when April, you know, mid April, end of April come around, we'll have, they'll have blacktop prices out. Okay. And I'm sure they're gonna want to start checking it out and estimating and stuff, so get in there a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do <clears throat> you have any particular roads that you're thinking that you would like us to look at? Or? Um, the roads on the list. <laughs> um, probably finish Race Hill, maybe Mill, Mill Hill. <clears throat> a little section of Shaw Road by the church. Um, Goes from the four corners. You know, and, uh, section of your road and maybe like High Street or something, or I mean Church Street needs it too, but it's kind of out of the way. Mm -hmm. um, I 
Well, that one you got for us. Yeah. yeah. All right. Appreciate that. Yep. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll work on the okay. clothing and the right. raises and that kind of stuff. And we'll let you know. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Just before we get into you guys, we need to realign the board here. I should have done that first. but So, we, what do we need? We need a chair, co chair. A secretary, in case you're not here. Okay. All right. So, uh, who wants to be chair this year? I'll only leave Steve to be chair. <laughs> <laughs> if Steve's okay with that, I'll second it. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Co chair. Nominate Seth. Too shabby. Who is coming? Figured. Good of that. All in favor of that? Mm -hmm. Alright. And the secretary? No, I do. No, I might, Nick. We gotta run on. <laughs> I mean, but I can. That's the spirit. <laughs> Nick, do you want it? Not really, but I can. They're not really doing well. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. You just take it. All right. So Nick will take the nomination now. We're good for now. Um, the Cattells. <laughs> well, while the community is still fresh in our minds, I'd like to just talk a little bit about it and how poorly the showing was and why that happened and what we could do differently and where we how we should move forward as a town. Yeah. You know, um, 39 people was just like, wow. They, they made the decision for a million and a half of, you know, our million dollar budget. And it just feels like we should move forward to something different. It was, outdated. Town, town meeting could be outdated. I hate to say those words, but they may be. Maybe we should have a different time. I feel like we have a target. You know, Seth and Nick, your guys' age, 40, you know, 35 to 55. Target that age. And how do we get those people there? How do we, how do we know, get... That. Just not to interrupt, but you know, you say that how, how we need, why, and we do, we need more involvement because it's too bad the town's decisions were all made by, you know, 20, 20 people or 30 people out of the 1400 and something that are eligible to speak Correct. up and say something. But if you look at that, you know, you say go to Australian ballot, but the the percentage that we had at town meeting compared to the percentage that voted Australian ballot was about the same as we normally have. You know, normally we can get 100 people at town meeting and we get 200 voters that come into Australian ballot. Right. And out of that 200, 100 of them right. were the ones that were there. Right. You know, Only 100 and, people and voted. yeah, 100 people voted right. Australian ballot and there was what, 40 people at town meeting? Yes, yes. I was at the Northwest Solid Waste there to count those ballots um, that night and talking to other towns and some towns had good turnouts and they said, oh, you know, we had a good turnout where people were glad to be back and other towns said mm -hmm. they were, they were quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm not sure why Sheldon was quiet. I, I was really, yeah, I was really perplexed with that, the number of people that showed up. We talked about it, Kim and I, I mean, other people too, like COVID had a play in it. We've, we've mailed out ballots the last three years. So people are expecting that to come in the mail. Yeah. The school, the school yeah. portion being removed from town meeting day pleasant. Or but but right. you also mailed out a town book to every resident. Yes. They knew there was a town meeting. Yes. You know, and and right. I so don't know. 
conversation we've had though with other people, a few people at the, um, the younger, a couple younger residents, I think I say younger, you know, 40, younger than me, um, you know, they can't make town meetings. They work and so, they can't afford to take their, that day off so, for a town meeting because they have the family to think about because they need a sick day or they need another day for something different. So let's float the idea of having a town meeting at night. I, that's a good, that's a good suggestion. Seven o'clock on Tuesday night. Yeah. Yeah. Polls are open until seven, and yeah. then we have town meetings. Town yeah. meetings only last an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Have it at six thirty or seven. Yeah, something Would different we get more people? than what we have now. Because if you go to Australian ballot, you have the. This is my just. Yeah. This is my yeah, this thought is on all right. this. Yeah. Yeah. Is you go to Australian ballot, the school does it. They have an informational meeting the night before. They get three people. Right. They you know, a couple of concerned parents and one other person, maybe yeah. they get, you know, they get a small crowd. I've been to them before and there was, I think there was five or six people there, yeah. you know, and so then you get these 100, 200 voters that come in to vote on the school budget, but hadn't, they can't ask any questions at when they come in to vote. Mm -hmm. So they're voting on what they see in front of them. But if they go, hmm, I wonder why that budget's higher than it was last year, but they can't ask they can't anybody. They can't, right. you know, they can't talk about right. it. So, so if we go to Australia, you can't talk about, so why have it right. on me? Right. That so people are going to show up for. So if we, if we go to Australia and ballot, we'll have to have an informational meeting before. Right. So are you going to get more people to that? Probably not. The, you know, the night before, and then they got to come back the next day and vote. Yeah. That's that's my only thing. I know I've talked to people when Swanton switch. Um, they said that you know they were just they had the information they didn't know where to show up. They'd have a handful of people there. Yeah. So, I think moving it to the town meeting would be a good discussion. Just either a different day, a Saturday, a weekend, a Saturday, or an evening. Can we do event. that, or does it have to be? I think you can move it. You can move it. I'd have to check Something the show. Yeah. What if you or, coordinate it all with the fire department putting on spaghetti dinner? Well, that's well a you know, we, that's a whole we've, thing. we've always had dinners before lunches, but, you know, with it not having the school, it used to be, you know, you, you had the, the town portion, you break for lunch, everybody catches up on everything, and then you go into the school portion. Mm -hmm. But our meetings are shorter now. And so, you know, would it, would it, anybody stay for lunch? You know, everybody's so busy. Well, we could talk about but, something like that again like when we get closer to the town meeting. Yeah. Maybe she was having something before the meeting. Like, you know, if it's a supper, have a chicken pot pie supper or have, yeah. bring a casserole. Something, something to get share. people in. Exactly. But I think that's a great way to move forward. As long as we move forward with something, I think what we have in place right now. I, I don't know. Just yeah, like it's no, just I know. It's, it's not that. working. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not but, just for us. It's for it's a lot of other towns too. We're in the same Right. Yeah. yeah. But from what I can see, a Australian ballot's not going to get you any better turnout. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit. You're going to get yeah. some people that come in, but you're still not going to get the, the majority of the voters. Yeah. yeah. You got to, I don't know how to do it, but you got to get more people interested in what's going on right. in town. I agree. You know, because yeah. they'll, they'll all come in and complain the taxes are too high, yeah. but not one of them knows why the taxes yeah. are too high. Yeah. I think the and school, I don't know about the school, but we didn't even know personally, I didn't know what I was even voting on. I was voting on the, the district, I had not a clue yeah. on what Sheldon's share was. I would have liked to have known how Sheldon broke down and all that. Yeah. But it wasn't presented to us that way, so but that's just my take on that. But, well, I just, yeah, wanted, just wanted to spark a discussion and yeah. move forward a little bit, see if we can move forward to something, talk yeah. about, at least talk about something different, whether it works or not. It might not right. work. But well, it would be worth a try. Worth a try. If we could get more people than we had this yeah, year. We could try yeah. it and it doesn't work out. Right. Well, who's to say we don't go back to what we had when we started? Yep. But that's all. I just wanted to share that. Well, it was fresh in my mind. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to sell my tractor and mower to you tonight. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> just to update, you probably don't need a loader, but what I heard about the back of it, you do. That's what I get from mowing. The other guys are in. Oh, okay. Yeah.
but I'm not gonna, I'm only gonna mow this last year. I'm not gonna mow anymore after that. And if I still get the tractor and mower, I would, uh, you know, it'd be cheaper than the tractor and mower loader. Depending on how you want it. Get extra parts for the mower. And uh, I was thinking a couple thousand dollars down and three thousand dollars a year for six years. That way it won't screw with the budget because the money's and, already there. And you'd run it so it wouldn't break? Mm. For... <laughs> Well, you want to, you want to take so it you got it. all your money because if, if somebody breaks it and then we can't use it anymore we might not want to finish paying for it <laughs> that's all right too <laughs> I'm going to give you a bill of sale as is where it is yeah. <laughs> and you know something if you don't use it it doesn't break so that's it's going to break but it's in really really if good don't, shape if we don't use it we don't need it either <laughs> that's true that's true but it's up to you guys, it, yeah. and it won't screw your budget up too much. And it's small enough, it's uh, like they, Seth, the boys did a really good job on their the big mower they had last year. I was really impressed. Hmm. You know, but I mean, it didn't look bad, you know, when it got done. It yeah. got all the places I thought, well, I told Seth at a lot of different places, but he got worn out, you know. And, uh, and Sheldon was situated, so, you don't need that big mower all the time. No. It's, it's quite an expense. Yeah. And as far as the little tractors, I only thought not the loader because Berkshire has a tractor and the mower they share with Enosburg. The mower part, I guess they bought it together. Hmm. Montgomery's got their own tractor mower, my size of mower, so that's why I was thinking you know, that smaller tractor mower would, has been working pretty good for 39 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I give you a guarantee on the tractor. I will fix it and the mower. <laughs> For how long? As long as I'm, as long as I'm able. <laughs> I've got the extra part, but it, it's a uh, the mower is the best one I've ever had in the roadside mowing. You can fix it two hours. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's I fix it side of the road half the time. You know, just with the tools in the toolbox. Yeah. So. It's as good as it's going to get right now. Because food years option is coming. Okay. That stuff is leaving. <laughs> I'm 68 years old. Yeah. Well, you got to work out your contract. You got one more year, don't you? Yeah, I know, but I don't have to do such a good job. <laughs> <laughs> one, one pass, you know, is this wide? I can go to lawnmower and do yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. But I wouldn't do that. You know, I know. I have another mower I bought since. But if you could give me a little, you know, I'm not in any hurry to sell it, but I kind of looked up, you know. Okay. We'll put that on our discussion. All right, guys. Thank you. Yep. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Chip. See you tomorrow. I couldn't run it up around Winehouse because there's no traffic. I'm saying way to one apart. Yeah. Yeah. I could give the guys lessons up right around my house, you know, and then, you know, I was almost going to volunteer to be a, when you had the town listed, to be the guy to take the guy around to all the houses, because you want two people there. Yeah, yeah, they won't go along, yeah. When they listed my farm, the guy came out by itself, right? Uh -huh. And I was holding, they did all the farms that year, uh -huh. it's been, I don't know, 10 years ago. I held a tape measure for him, you know. And inquired about all of this list. They ain't nothing that to that job. job. They ain't nothing to that job. It's A, B, C, or D. Yeah. Nice house like you got? Ooh, that's an A. <laughs> <laughs> My personal house is a D. <laughs> uh, good thing Debbie's already on the parking lot. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Yeah, have a good night. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we need to appoint a health officer for a three-year term. I know a guy. You know a guy? Yes. He's still interested in doing that? I don't know, is he? That's, well, the fallback is so slightly anyway, so, yeah, that's fine. There's not a lot of business, okay. thankfully. Sure.
Take a motion to appoint Richard Piaz, man. Then. I'll make a motion. All right, second on that. I'll second it. All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Guess we have a health officer. Appoint a representative for Northwest CUD. I haven't heard back from our previous representative yet. Okay. Might be dodging here down that spot now. All right. There's only one person here who hasn't been assigned to something yet tonight. <laughs> no, that's the communication. Oh. That's that communication district thing. I'm not communication. <laughs> we so that's can, the you know, whole internet thing? Yeah. We can uh, try to find somebody to point somebody yeah. else meeting. And, <clears throat> and if we don't have a representative, we don't have a representative. I did it for a bit, and Mustafa did it for a bit. What's, in, what's involved with it? A lot of meetings. I mean, you know, that's the, everyone that's on that board or group, uh, they're involved in that. You know, that's more of their area. So, you know, a lot of the conversation was just, you know, <laughs> sounds good for Sheldon. Is it like remote or, I mean, where is the meeting? Is it how when, I, well, when I went through, it was COVID, so it was remote. Yeah, well, that's remote. I don't know if Jake still reach out to Jake again and see where he left off with it. We can table, table okay. that one for the next we'll meeting. We'll table that till next meeting. See what you guys can dig up for somebody to recommend. How often are those meetings on that one? I'm not looking interested in it, but I'm just asking. <laughs> see you okay. okay. in a month later. I think we'll reach out to, to Jake too, see if he's there. <clears throat> All right. Well, if you want to get on that Northwest Solid Waste Board, you can have my spot. I've got mm -hmm. enough to do. I just got on it because we didn't have anybody until somebody wanted to step up, but I hadn't found anybody yet. So. No, that'd be fine. You want to do that for a while? All right. We'll do it on there for a while. But the meetings are right at City Hall usually, so yeah, they can be interesting. Can I ask a question regarding Jeff? Is, is the town considering mowing? With well, employees or? we're, we're going to have to consider either contracting somebody different after Jeff's yep. up. Or, and he suggested that when he's done mowing that we just buy his mower and yeah. tractor. But okay. we talked about it some uh, previous, what was it, last year there when he came in, how saw I think it was. And I guess the combination of the tractor and mower is, is good for mowing, but the tractor probably doesn't have a whole lot of other uses in the town because it's so small. Right. Yeah. You know, we thought, well, you know, a backup for our backhoe to load sand or something if the backhoe broke, but it's not, probably it's not big sure. enough for that. It's more of a smaller tractor. And right now we're, we're running a two-man road crew, so we really don't need to give them any more work than they have. But if, you know, if we do get fully staffed, then it might be a consideration, I guess. I was kind of hoping he would extend his contract another year after this, but it doesn't sound like he wants to, so we might have to figure something out here. You know how many hours it takes him to actually do the work? He goes out. Probably takes him a week. Every day. Eight hour a day, a week to do all the whatever class two or three roads? Or yeah. Because it has nothing to do with 78 or 105, right? No, yeah. no state highways. It's all. He comes up and mows the, the corner by my house on Kane Road just for the site there he right. does that like three or four times a year because it's just down the road from where his house is and, yep. but the rest of the roads it's usually twice a year and uh, you know the more the roads now have more houses on them people have lawns right up to the roads so there's more but then there's more mailboxes and road signs that you have to pick up and go by but yep. So I don't know, he figured it out for what we have for mileage on our roads that he does and he charged, I don't know, for that contract. No, yeah, he, 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 he,
he had that figured out. We we always supplied the fuel for his tractor and and did that. But we'll have to. I don't know if there's anybody else that does it or now the towns are all starting to do it again. For a while there was, because Jeff was doing a couple towns. He's done Franklin in the past. He's done Bakersfield and and. Uh, but anyways, now I think it's we're gonna have to figure something out there. <clears throat> um, poor farm road. Did you get that email? <clears throat> Burn sent out an email to us. I didn't get an email. He just texted me to tell me to put it on. No, he sent an email to us board members. Oh, okay. um, I didn't get it. And basically, it was <clears throat> from crosses that. Um, to do wastewater uh, runoff, uh, permitting, uh, reconstruction, a couple other things for the school parking lot in our portion. Basically, twenty thousand dollars are not to exceed. You know, like could be up to that, but maybe less. Um, and that'd be twenty thousand split between the school district and us. So it could be up to ten thousand dollars for us to be able to do a design for down there. So he wanted to know if we'd be willing to take that number and move on with that work down there, with that number, based on that. Did we or the school pay for this when they did it? Because they've already done this design several of them many years ago. So but that wasn't, it wasn't this school district, it was us, because it was before the merge. Yeah. And it wasn't this and it expensive. wasn't the same type of design either. It was... I mean, I know the one he brought, but he said there was others he didn't bring, so I don't know if this... No, it was never this expensive. It was okay. just, like, kind of playing with where the road was, not remove, not relocating the whole road. So is Vern comfortable with having enough room to do what he needs to do there before we do all this permanent? This is just more to see if it can... the design phase to see if they can do it. Okay. Should we invite Vern back for another meeting? That we can. At point? If we want him to, if you want more information, I can ask him more information and bring it back to the next meeting or however you want. Well, my thought is we committed to him that we were going to work with him. And I guess if this is the next step, we're not committing to actually building the road yet until we know what's going to happen. But we need to know. We're committing to. You know, we need to. We need to have some sort of design, I guess, of what's going to happen there, and so I think we need to at least do the next step here and see what they come up with for what we're going to have to do for work and make sure they're going to have enough room to do what they need to do for parking and bus routes and stuff like that. <coughs> So do you want to put something out there? What, how are you going to word that? You read the email, so. Not to exceed basically $10,000, it was 20,000, 10 and 10. So we'll, for permitting and design, we will allocate $10,000 not to exceed for that design down there. Okay. So, we have a motion to commit to permanent drawing down on Poor Farm Road, not to exceed our portion, not to exceed ten thousand dollars total, not to exceed twenty thousand dollars between the the school district and the town of Sheldon. Is that what we're looking mm -hmm. at? Okay. So, do you have we have a motion. Do I have a second on that? No. So, I didn't get the email from him. You didn't I didn't get, get that. I didn't get one. Either. So that's what I'm wondering. It was before. Before we do that. Oh, okay. okay. Not this. I just wanted to make sure. So I guess we want more details. Like we commit to this. Are we getting multiple design? Like what are we getting for? Like I'm not against that. I know we agreed that we'd pursue mm -hmm. it, but. You should have got it too. 
You I just checked my yeah, ice wild. Didn't get it. <laughs> I assumed you were because I gave them all of our information. I never looked at the top, so. Second on that motion. Uh, discussion? I don't. I mean, I think it makes some next steps, so. Okay. Good with that. All right. All in favor of that? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Well, you going to contact where I can? Or you going to contact? I can contact where Okay. Seth will contact him and tell him that we're willing to move forward on that project. Can I just forward you the email he sent to me? Rick is on an email yet, right? Yeah, he does. He does, okay. I just want to start with those. Those are sweet perfects. Yeah. <coughs> okay, do we want to talk about that tonight? Yeah, probably should. Okay. I'll read the previous meeting minutes here. A select Board Water Commissioner meeting from February 27th of 2023. Uh, present was Stephen Dodd, Seth Hungerford, David Clovett, Nick Norris, Joe Dunlovey, Kim Dufresne. Karina King and Andy Crane. I uh, opened the meeting and read the agenda at 7.30. Karina King, she is the Community Relations Coordinator for the Mosiskoi River Basin Association. She spoke about the river basin and options on how the river could be used. The board would like ideas from what other towns are doing. <clears throat> Andy Crane, representing the Historical Society, asked if the town would use ARPA funds to replace the roof on the building down there at the Historical Society. He has two quotes varying from 17000 to 24000 The board asked what the request for proposal requested from of the contractor if it included removal and disposal of all, all roofing debris. He was going to check on that and get back to us, I guess. Uh, we signed some warrants, we signed the fleet permits, I read the meeting minutes from February 13th, Seth motion to accept is read, seconded by David. Discuss the waterline extension on the Reed Road, and the board will have to discuss with Hubert. We're going to bring that back up tonight, I guess. Uh, we reviewed the 105, Route 105 safety audit, the board has questions. That, at the intersections of Woods Hill Road, Macy Road, Poor Farm Road, where the school entrance is, and Route 120 and Kane Road. Uh, we signed a certification of compliance for town roads and bridge standards. Nine o'clock, Nick motion to adjourn, seconded by Joe and all in favor and the meeting adjourned. Make the motion, accept these minutes as read. Make a motion. All right, and I get a second on that. I'll second. All right, all in favor? All right. All right. Opposed? Any 
we need to approve these. This we, need, we need to sign them. Do I need to read them or just gonna sign them? They're all okay. More of those coffee, we need to sign more. No, I'm just fine. Okay. No, you'll see why in a minute. So this is what they put out for us, and they have people willing to do it. They have enough help to cover our account. I guess it depends on how much we, if we have someone here in the office that can do some of it, which if Debbie and I are showing how, we could probably do the download. You got time to do it more? I think Dr. Stephanie has to start doing this. Part of the <laughs> These signs are is that just for three signs? We have no place. Would that be for like the Macy Road and Woods Hill? Well, I see mm -hmm. you keep getting questions here. Why doesn't it that yep. people are not stopping, slowing down, they're just going through. So this like is kind see, of for here. He would like to see those of that. Yeah. Should go stay work. I'd rather see him down on the Woods Hill, but I don't know if we want to wait for everybody else to get that corner figured out. Yeah. In the you'd have to 
you'd have to thought for the state on that too, because it goes into their intersection. By the way, you there if it would work. But, but what's your thoughts of putting them on this corner? You think it would make any difference? Nope. I think these are going to be solar towered. 30 inch. So there's going to be a lot of light that come off that. They're going to see them. But my thought is the people that don't stop now know what something's yeah. there. Yeah. But maybe that would make them think twice. I don't know. Maybe one for now. Just what if we see? just buy a cruiser and we'll just park it somewhere? <laughs> right. Stop, yeah. stop. Okay. Buy we'll a used stop cruiser stop. and park it right there. Sensor. Sensor. Sure, we could find somebody to sit in there. I'm pretty sure oh, Seth is going to sit I haven't been up one yet. Oh, he's probably one. Are you just waiting for the invitation? I <laughs> thought <laughs> <laughs> that's where that was going. You got a sister here, but I can't figure out it. So. <laughs> you'll get to it. Yeah, we just sit in the same spot and you'll figure it out. <laughs> and so forth on something like this. I mean, I, I'm not sure there'd be much maintenance, but kids destroy the solar panels or the lights or whatever. I mean, and the batteries do die the solar panels yeah. sometimes. Right. I mean, I don't know how long it would last for, generally speaking, without any damage. A year, two years? I mean, normally, rechargeable batteries are a year? Normally. I think they go a little bit longer than that. Swanton had a couple that lasted, I think it was closer to three years. Oh, okay. That one on the end of Russell World, that's what Frick Power is. No, not it's anymore. Solar now. So that's solar now. After oh, after that, that guy took after it that out. Guy clipped it. We got it switched to solar. Huh. Oh, okay. how's that one holding up? When no one hits it, good. it's working hard. Right. <laughs> well, <I'm okay. laughs> of course, that one doesn't. Morning. So is this. When we're looking at, it just blinks all the time? I think so. Or does it sense cars coming and start blinking? I think it's, it blinks. I think so it's going to be like a one-off event that's been Costco. They okay. have one, because anybody been to Costco, they have a stop yeah. sign. Yeah, right next to the gas. Yes. Yeah, well, it's just like little LEDs around yeah. the stop sign. For seven bucks. I'd rather see a top of Woods Hill in the end of issue. I wonder when this all comes around if something like that would be maybe grant worthy. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. It would be a lot. I'd rather see him down there than. Not there. saying I don't value this right here. I'm not saying I discredit this, but I see that there's more. That's the word I'm looking. People. Speed. Yeah. A lot more traffic. Fatality. Traffic. So has Hubert been back in to work at all? He came in today. Yeah. Um, has he looked at this at all? He did. He, he checked out the pumps over there. They're maxed. They're maxed. Yeah. And one of them is making noise. And he's been calling around to get some cold. I think he was calling FWF and Shabai for a pump. Okay. Price. How old are those pumps? Do we know? They're all done right when the water reservoir was done. I'm not sure. What year was What's that? that before here? I think it was between the fire department and this building. Yeah. They did the water. And they did the water program. Um, 2011. Okay. So the, is he looking at a bigger pump for there so that he can pump up the hill? Okay. 
because there's no sense if that pump's bad, no sense putting the same one back in if it's if they're maxed out. If we get more customers here, do we get more customers? Well, we have a email from uh, Justin Reed. Want to know about the extension? Is it right on the okay. He knows there's a couple other people up there that are submitting applications. One already has. And then he said there's another one that might be. Is he? And he might be interested to if, if we could uh, get him water. Jessica, the one that wants it, and she is depending on her building permit for her house right now, whether she can have town water, but I don't see that it's gonna happen between now and May. Because is the line, is the line gonna be updated too or just the pumps? Uh, probably have to update the line if we're gonna have three new customers with them. We might as well make it big enough because if it yep. gets to there, it's gonna go over that hill. Or could. Or at least down that road. There's. This, what is there, four houses down there right now? Four or five? On Reed Road? And she's building, just as building. I think three of them have wells. Two of them are on spring. Yeah, well, there's a reason they're switching over to town water, too. So. If they're replacing the pipe, too, I don't think the pipe's very good starting at the pump station. I think it's like a thin walled water pipe. So Up that hill? No. Yeah. It's only one inch from that pump house anyway, right? Or is it? No, I think it's bigger than one inch, but it's, you gotta be pretty careful when you're playing around it. Brittle. Well, we're gonna want it designed anyways, so. <clears throat> Well, I guess we'll see what he work finds out. And, and, uh, we'll approve more customers if we can get them water with the proper pressure. We're not going to hook somebody up if they're not going to get enough pressure. If they're not going to be a happy customer. Mm -hmm. So this is. We should be able to do that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what else? Mm -hmm. Is there more discussion on this road safety audit? Anybody? Do we have to contact them? Any of that information and what you guys want? Have questions about? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was going to ask if we could have them come meet with her. Yeah, we could have them come meet with her. Yeah, we could have them come meet with her. Yeah, we could have them come meet with her. Yeah, we could have them come meet with her. Yeah, we could have She's just taking another job. Or, she's you know, she's in an event. She's in an event. Not sure if she's still on that. She's who I spoke to the day of coordinating, so I'm not going to check with her on her or her next in line is now. She'd probably be the best man I'll check. Mm -hmm. So just six to I can reach out to her. Okay. Okay. See what's and sometimes it's really 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 depending on yep. how what I was going to do. Whether they yeah. stay later too, so, or okay. with that schedule. Did Rick see that report? Did you see that report yet? I know you were there for it, but the. Yes. Okay. Oh, you got a copy of that. Yeah. Okay. In there? No. I mean, hourly rate. They have hourly. Hourly rate. But that's uh, just a basic yeah. cooking and travel contract. But um, is there any other places that you can get 
I haven't checked with any other. I think there's a list in there. I can. <coughs> How? Uh, and this is to be. Would they stay and be our list or two, or is this just to do the, or just to do list? Or is this we would no longer have a list, but we have an assessor. I mean, assessor. Yeah, they would do what they list would do. Or no. Would they, would they be the ones that we possibly have do with the town wide if we can get them here, or how far out are they? Um, they're they're booked. Um, with everybody else. <coughs> But when I was talking to Kermit about it, he said as long as you are still going forward, you know, and like you're not stopping, you're waiting for them to get to us to do the assessment. That's all we can ask because there's not enough would they build, out there. Would they build a start to be our assessor before they did our talent? So, because it'd probably be a different crew that would come into the town, right. the whole town wide one. Right. Yeah, I think is, this assessor would just do the paperwork. But at least it's some from the same firm. That's right. All, that's yeah. all I'm like, no, I like, I don't want to. Do they have those other ones that would do a town wide appraisal do assessing? I think they do. Well, I just, just asked yeah, you, if, they, you if you knew. Because this is who Fairfield's switching to, right? Who well, everyone else uses them? Or switching uh, Richford, to Richford just went through their assessment. They used them. Fairfax used them. Um, I think Swanton's did too. I'm not positive. But I think Swanton's used them. You want to pass that off? Or does it matter? It's, it's before you, so you probably can sign that one. Okay. Staggering them a little bit, Steve, you know, for Christmas. All right, is there any other business we need to discuss? We uh, need to go into executive session here to 
talk a little bit about employee stuff. Um, any other discussion we need before that? No? Alright, I will take a motion to go into executive session. I'm going to make a motion to go into executive session and adjourn the meeting when we're done. Alright, so I got a second on that. Second. Okay. We will enter executive session books to discuss employee benefits and wages and then we will exit executive session and adjourn for the evening. All in favor of that? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right.